Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris for those of you who are new in here. In today's video, I'm going to do my makeup look, which is this very natural, very minimal makeup look for every day using only clean makeup brands. This is something that I kept on seeing in the comments section. Each and every one of uh, my videos, there would be like one or two comments. And lately the number of comments requesting for a full tutorial with clean makeup brands have increased so i was like this is the time people are interested in this i need to do it now this is what i've created using all clean brands if you'd like to see everything i've used and how i've created this then please keep on watching what does clean means beauty brands like to use the word clean when they describe products that don't contain certain ingredients that are controversial or considered controversial or unsafe like for example talc or parabens and as you guys know uh, sephora had this initiative and added this clean at sephora and now you can see much easier which brands or which products are clean in sephora and i have to tell you that was very helpful for me of course i know a few brands but some of them i was not a hundred percent sure i don't come in here and pretend as if i am a connoisseur when it comes to clean or organic beauty i just barely scratch the surface when it comes to this subject one of my goals this year is, is to use more clean products and to just make my own research now that being said i'm going to start uh, with the makeup the first product i'm going to use is this lila b a glow this is a priming oil i wouldn't normally use a priming oil on my skin but right now i'm i'm very very dry i don't know if you could see this one has more like a milky texture So I apply most of this product on the cheeks. That's where I'm very, very dry. And then what's left on my fingers, I get it on the center of the face and then forehead. Ilia, I'm gonna use their Lip Wrap Hydrating Mask. I gotta say it's more like an oil. It feels hydrating, but um, I I've tried it before and at least on my lips, it does not last too long, which is weird because it's a mask. So the masks usually stay a bit longer on the lips. The foundation I'll be using is this Westman Atelier. It's a stick foundation. It's very, very practical for personal use. This is in number two. I'm gonna spread it with a brush. This brush is from La Bouche Rouge, which is another clean brand. I think I need to add some more. This foundation is so practical for personal use. And then you could spread it with your fingers or with a brush. It's the type of product that really looks like skin. <clears throat> something that you can carry in your bag it's it's really really practical one reason i like this foundation is the for the fact that you can layer it so if you want more coverage you could just add a little bit more and you can see it's just so hydrating i don't know if i would recommend this if you have oily skin it's great for combination skin but oily skin i don't know i think it's it's very hydrating and it stays like this like it never never sets the only concealer that i have is this madara organic makeup that's it this is a number 35 i don't know much about this brand but i know that they make clean makeup morphe 173 brush this is very stretchy i would say more like a classic concealer doesn't have crazy coverage but listen I'm, I'm not mad you could see you could see the difference I 
Now the problem is I do not have any powder, any setting powder. When it comes to bronzer, I love, love a cream bronzer, but in this category of uh, bronzers, you really have quite a few products to choose from. I really like this one from RMS. This is the Briti bronzer. If you like cream products as well, a very, very chic looking brand is Westman Atelier and um, they have this bronzer. It's a powder version. This is called Coupe du Soleil. It's really, really beautiful. I love the formula. I love the color. Uh, what I don't like about this is the price. But as you will see throughout this video, if you want clean makeup and if you want it to look very, very chic, then you would have to pay for that a little extra. Basically what you're paying for is, um, you know, the packaging and all these little details like, you know, this these embossed letters and you can see the difference here. It's just, you know, it's a glass packaging with a metal cap and that's it. You just have the RMS name on top of it and that's it. Would a cheaper and less chic of a packaging would make a product less effective? Absolutely not. The question is, are you more likely to buy a clean makeup brand because of the packaging as well? Not just because of the effectiveness of the product? I'm, I'm very curious about your opinion. So if you have the time to answer in the comments down below, I'd love to know your opinion about this subject. I will use this one from RMS because I think it's a great product and it's not crazy expensive. I'm gonna take, this is another brush. Um, I have two of these, you could use them for powder or cream. Like I said, these are from La Bouche Rouge and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Buriti bronzer. It has a very nice finish. I think it's gorgeous. Now I'm going to move on with eyebrows and here I have these three pencils from La Bouche Rouge. This is a new addition to their small family. They don't have a lot of products, but what I could tell you about this brand is that I fully trust it. I know so much about La Bouche Rouge. They gave me this confidence that there is really meaningful. Like they are trying to create products that are friendly to the environment. And these pencils, I'm gonna try them for the first time. I literally just received them the other day. Blonde, one in medium and one in black. Let's try the medium one. It looks like it's a bit too warm, but I'm gonna try it. I've got the spoolie from the same brand. Listen, it's a, uh, it's a nice color. I wonder how this is going to last. But the color is really good. I like the way the product glides on. There is no plastic involved in creating any of the La Bouche Rouge. Even the cap is made of metal. One of my favorite cream blushes is this one from Lila B. It's not one of my favorite clean brand blushes. No, it's one of my favorite, like, generally speaking. This is such a good blush. Uh, I like this color in particular. It's called Be Real, but then it has a lot of good colors. I will just take it with the fingers. And apply it on the apples of the cheeks. Now, if I want to set this uh, makeup in place, I would have to use powder. I don't have any 
setting powder. I don't have any powder at all. Uh, however, I do have this Ilia Night Light Bronzing Powder. This is a beautiful color, not just a beautiful formula. Get on top of the Buriti bronzer that I've applied earlier. Just with tapping motions. This will ensure that the product stays on longer. Now, when it comes to highlighter, I've been obsessed with this one from La Bouche Rouge. Again, a beautiful, beautiful product, beautiful packaging, very effective. I don't love it just for the packaging. It's genuinely a very, very good product. Uh, has very, very special shine. This is the type of highlighter you could apply with your fingers or with a brush. I'm just gonna get it on the highest points of the cheeks where I naturally have that shine right now because I didn't powder. Because the the area on here was like so uh, hydrated, the product kind of has a better grip onto the skin. By far, when it comes to the eye makeup, I love these cream eyeshadows. They are actually called Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint from Ilia. And these come in a bunch of colors. I think I'm going to use these too. They're just so so beautiful you guys so beautiful i've used this color before actually it's uh it's glaze has such a nice shine then with the fingers now let's take the darker color this is in fresco Get it at the outer corner on a lower lash line. Create a little shadow in there. They dry pretty fast. Okay, I thought I should come closer to show you what the whole look is like. What do you guys think? I love this eyeshadow so much. Now I'm going to use the mascara, which is also from La Bouche Rouge. So normally when you get this mascara, you get it like this, without this sleeve on top of it. This is totally optional. It's very chic. You could have your initials on it. This is not sponsored by La Bouche Rouge, by the way, but I do have a lot of their uh, products. It's the first mascara made in a glass bottle. Okay, now let's talk about, oh my God. Maybe if I dab like this, I'm taking the shine away, at least from the center of my face. <laughs> we will powder, just not yet. You see, guys, I mean, it's been about, I would say an hour. The lips are hydrating, but there is no product left on the lips. That's what I'm saying with the lip mask from Ilia, it just like melts, disappears. Lip liner, and I'm gonna use this La Bouche Rouge in the color Nude. It's such a beautiful, beautiful color. You'll see in a second. Now there are a lot of options for the lips. I could use the La Bouche Rouge 
This is a beautiful color, nude brown, but I'm not gonna use this one because I think I've already showed you enough La Bouche Rouge products. Do you guys know about this brand? It's called, it's called Dear Dahlia. I have this lipstick that I think it's gorgeous from them. 809 in the color Kate. Now on top of it, I want to add just a little touch of this Ilia Balmy Gloss. This is a tinted lip gloss in the color Only You. Only in the center of the lip. This is a type of lip color that literally looks good on everybody. Pair it with a darker lip liner and I can assure you it's going to work. And if you are dark or deep dark skin tone. I have to tell you the concealer, I don't know if you could see, it didn't really crease. It really didn't. I'm actually surprised. I will use some powder because I, I cannot stand looking at myself being so so oily i i said it before I, I love a you know very natural looking skin but when it shines everywhere i think it, with some bone structures with some faces it just looks very oily and greasy and i'm one of those people so i'm going to apply some powder i don't even feel like i need a lot of powder but a bit on the forehead you know where the skin is shining a lot and then around the nose and under the eyes that's that's where my biggest problem is okay i i, I have to tell you i feel so much better i'm looking at a monitor i'm like Whew. now this feels more like the kind of makeup that i would really like to wear i would really like to try more clean brands i know Kosas is a very popular brand and I have a few of their products like this one right here This is the velvet melon Saturate and illuminate cream and that's not the only product that I have from them. It's a really nice brand if you have Any recommendation for me in terms of clean brands, please let me know. All right now. This is the final makeup look I really hope you enjoyed this if you did, please let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you want to see more clean brands included in the future makeup looks. Let me know if you would wear this. Is this something similar with what you wear every day? Or it's already like too much or maybe it's nothing at all compared with what you are usually using? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!